Welcome back to Watching Film. Today we're going to look at the UCF defense. Um, they are kind of a 4-2-5, 4-3 base. I think it will probably depend on um, the personnel they're playing. Um, I see a lot of 4-3 looking stuff. Sometimes they'll show here. As you can see, they'll, they'll walk a guy up and it'll look like a five-man front. But I think that's going to be against run-heavy teams and run-heavy personnel looks. Um, they are... Uh, they're aggressive. They like to move up front a lot. Um, so they'll slant, and we'll see some of that. They'll slant. They'll do some uh, stunts and twists and things like that. They'll bring blitzes. They'll play different coverages. They'll play man. They'll play, um, you know, it looks like a couple times quarter, quarter, half. They'll play quarters. They'll play some two high looks, some some one high looks. So they're, they're kind of multiple. Um, but we'll take a look and kind of see. Um, We'll start here with them kind of fitting the run and how they play pretty aggressive and downhill. So this is just kind of getting off blocks up front. And then the linebackers are just fitting aggressively here. Both linebackers get to the or get to the ball carrier for three or four yards behind the line of scrimmage. They're not uh, they're not tiny up front. They got some pretty big dudes, um, but they like to move and stun a lot. You see, even here they might be moving a little bit here. Um, here's another example of them fitting the run, and this is probably what they're gonna, what USF is gonna see more of. So you have another receiver, you have another receiver in corner down here. So this is like their safety. Um, Kind of their fifth DB, so this is more of a four-two-five look. But you'll see that these guys are quick to play the run, which is, I imagine, how they play USF. With USF struggling to get separation in the passing game, um, if US, USF is able to win some more one-on-one -on -one battles, maybe they get out of it. But you're going to see, and here's a safety that's coming to fill and makes a tackle on a big running back at the line of scrimmage. That's Warren, right? We, we all saw him live in living color. He's pretty good. But it's the safety coming up and fitting and making him play. So here's what talk, I'm talking about. They like to move. You'll see you'll get kind of a slant in here. It's going to force the back to cut it back. Now he ends up picking up the first down, but he kind of runs into a swarm of defenders after being forced to cut the ball back. You see how they're moving everything kind of down here. Forces the back to cut back. And now you got your safeties and guys coming up to fit on the run game. So they end up getting the first down here, but this is uh it's only a two about a two yard run, you know, so and that's kind of where that slant makes him cut that back because all that traffic in here. And you see he's kind of beating him across his face on the slant, so the back can't stay in there. He's got to cut and then with this being pushed all the way back, he's got to bounce it all the way back into safeties and linebackers. Similar look here. You again get the slant. Get the slant here. Forces the back to cut back into the arms of the linebacker here. Cut back. Now my linebacker's gotten off the block, and here comes my safety to clean it up. So all that's kind of caused by the line movement. So they'll do this, which I'd imagine you'll see a lot of this. You know, they slant this way, and now they're going to bring him off the edge. I wouldn't. I would imagine you'd see some of this on Friday. Again, the back ends up picking up the first down, but you kind of end up losing yards there, right? They also do it kind of here, where I'm trying to just influence for a blitz. 
and then also this is something they like to do it's where I'll bring four so you know usually these are the four I'm bringing are my down linemen they like to do this which they may have even done on the play before but since he saw run he jumped in so they'll bring him so it looks like they're bringing five and now he'll bail out so the slant basically the slant replaces the end this blitzer replaces the tackle and the end up here so it's kind of like a, a shuffling a cycle really he comes in here everybody else bumps down he bumps back and the back of those here bumps over so just a way to try to cause confusion and then one thing you'll see them do uh, not always but often is if the back stays in the protection so the back stays in okay well now this guy's going to add on add on is like a late blitzer and as you can see in these clips there's probably three of them where teams make some plays down the field on them there are plays to be made if uh, if the USF receiver and the quarterbacks can step up and make that throw and the guys go up and make that catch, you know, there, there will be some plays to be made against the defense. But you got to win some one-on-one -on -one battles, and that's been a struggle this season is winning those one-on-one -on -one battles outside. So here's another look at it. Drop, blitz, slant, slant. And you get one free here because you're actually going to so I'm going to slant across face here I'm going to blitz here I have my normal path I'm slanting outside and now I drop again kind of the same thing as the last play but maybe they switch up which side the blitzer goes to get some pressure but again the quarterback makes a good throw and a receiver makes a play one on one you're going to have opportunities to make plays one-on-one. -on -one. You just have to make the play. But still, you can see how they're able to get pressure with only blitzing four. Now, I don't know if this is man coverage or you just got beat deep. Um, old football adage, if you get deep enough down the field, everything turns into a one-on-one. -on -one. So even cover three, three deep zone, if I'm 40 yards downfield, it turns into a one-on-one. -on -one. Uh, so here's another look at um, the drop here. They're going to bring this walk up. I think I'm going to bring him here, and they're going kind to of get this movement here. That's right. You bring the walk up backer on the outside, and now you let your pass rusher kind of game a guard. They get the ball out, and then you rally and tackle. But let's say this guy's a really good pass rusher, really slick. Um, so maybe I'll bring the linebacker up here. So now the tackle takes my linebacker. Now a guard who's not used to uh, pass protecting against these really fast guys. Maybe I got a real twitchy edge guy here. He's not used to the pass or uh, pass blocking against somebody that quick. Well, now he's got this matchup. And I can try to get kind of isolate him one-on-one -on -one with a good uh, rusher. They also like to do this. Or you, they got the tackle, will come through and then they'll do the tackle end exchange, the text. They'll do it on both sides. Here, the tackle kind of spins back inside when he probably shouldn't, allows the quarterback to get out. But this is something they like to do up front is move guys around. Here on both sides, they have the ends go first. Tackles come around. So you got an end tackle exchange here. Again, just trying to create pressure with four. Quarterback has to get the ball out of his hands, and then you see that here's a linebacker, or really it's that extra safety on the field, that fifth guy in the 4-2-5 comes up and makes a hit short of the first down here. And so then here you have kind of a big loop. Just again, more movement up front. Is this tackle make the big loop around? And 
and then this tackle. So you kind of get a double here. So we're going to go down into there. He's going to loop all the way around. We're going to go down into there. And now he's going to loop all the way around this way. You see the looper here almost gets there. The ball gets out. So just another a different way to rush with four. So you're not just, it's just not a static same rush every time. Just make the lineman think a little bit. Make him kind of, you know, don't just let him block the same guys, the same look every play. Change up the look without having to change up too much of what I do in coverage. So here's one where I think, so they're showing, it looks almost at the snap, I think, to the quarterback, like it's going to be cover one. You got one high, it looks like one high safety, you got one rolled down here. These guys are showing blitz. They end up coming up because they add on. But they really, the corners are going to drop back at least to the field here and pass it off. And here's your safety. He's playing the flat. Quarterback thinks he's got, I think the quarterback thinks he's got man. Throws it out there, but there's a flat defender and he throws it right to him. So just a little disguise before the play. And then inside here, you'll see these guys will add on to the rush once they see their guys are staying to block. So add on, throw a pick. Now, here's kind of an exotic one. They're going to go, they're going to go like tackle and exchange. I'm sorry, tackle and exchange. And then they're going to bring. Two off the edge, and then a third. So they're going to bring, they're bringing a heavy blitz here. It's third and eight. They're not dropping back and playing coverage. But if you can win a one-on-one -on -one matchup, this is what can happen. Even with the seven-man pressure, if you win one-on-one, -on -one, you make a good throw. You can score. They're not, um, you know, they're not. They have. They're they're very good by the numbers yard per play. They haven't played very many good offenses this season. Um, they've kind of gotten uh, through the schedule without having to play a really good offense. So I'm not sure if numbers are inflated or if they are as good as the numbers indicate. They are pretty good, but there are plays to be made against them. Here you see Temple's receiver just wins one-on-one -on -one coverage and gets a good ball. If USF can find ways to have guys win against one-on-one -on -one coverage, whatever, however they have to do it. If they have to uh, run more picks, more rubs, more, you know, double moves, um, you know, that, that also implies you're getting some protection. But, you know, if you have somebody that can win some one-on-one -on -one coverages, win, win against one-on-one, -on -one, win against man, get open, and then the quarterback can deliver an, a good ball you'll be able to move the ball and score some points. If not, they're go you're probably going to have the box loaded up on you. Uh, they're going to dare you to they're going to dare you to throw the ball like Memphis did. And we'll see if you can kind of get it out there, but I think they're going to they're going to try to move their front a lot, confuse your offensive line. Um, but if you can handle that, then make them bring blitzes and then when outside a couple times one-on-ones, well now you can generate some big plays. So um, it kind of starts with the controlling that front four, controlling all the movement. You know, they're going to try to move and get you out of sorts. But if you can control that and make them bring blitzes to get pressure, well, now you can kind of – that can help you to generate some big plays. Um, if they're able to get pressure with four with the movement, you're probably going to be in for a long night. And then if you're not able to back them off with some big plays, um, it's probably going to make it tough to run too. So um, it's not going to be easy. But there is opportunity for USF to move the ball if they play well. Um, but if they don't, it could be a long night for them on offense.